Hi, hello! My name is Beth, and this is Rad Art, a show where I pick someone out of pop culture who I think is a badass, tell you why I think they're a badass, and then I draw them and I try a different technique just about every single time. This time's no exception. This is kind of a special episode, you guys, because we got an announcement. We're starting a gaming channel. So I thought, what better than to draw a video game character on today's episode of Red Art in order to prepare for the launch of Slate Tricks. And I don't know, maybe you'll see some recognizable faces over on that gaming channel. Who knows? But well, maybe do, maybe say, who knows? This week we're drawing Samus Aran. If you like what you see, go ahead, stick around, and I'll show you how I did it. Ready? Let's go. Samus Aran, the first playable female protagonist in video games and one of the biggest surprises at that. She may be fictional, but she's one of the most famous ladies on the digital screen. An ex-soldier and galactic bounty hunter, Samus was created over 30 years ago in 1986 when she appeared as the protagonist of the early Nintendo game Metroid. The fun part of this story is that for the entirety of the game, you have no idea that Samus is a woman until the very end, when you see her out of her suit and va va voom, surprise, she got them ba booms. It's the original jaw-dropping moment in gaming, and what's more, Samus was one of the least sexualized lady protagonists in the medium. She was almost exclusively portrayed wearing her high-tech power armor, and her strengths lie in Mega Man-esque power-ups and physical prowess, which is a nice diversion from the norm. According to the official Nintendo Power Strategy Guide, she's 6 foot 3 and 198 pounds of muscle, a true Amazonian warrior who would no doubt be able to spar with the women of the mascara if their universes cross. Samus would go on to be regarded as one of the most badass ladies in video games according to multiple publications. Many consider her creation a breakthrough for feminism and an example that women could be more in gaming than eye candy for gamer boys. The choice to make Samus a woman made the Metroid series a truly iconic one. Now, it's difficult for me to call her a breakthrough in feminism because at the end of the day, when you Google Samus Aran, many of the images you find are her in compromising sexual positions, and even back in 1986, the faster you beat the game, the more skimpy her reveal outfit. Her body was the reward, and does that fact cancel out the rest of her journey? It's a complicated question, but it's one worth discussing, and even though there is a sexualization involved in how her character is portrayed, the representation of her as a powerful, traditionally masculine video game protagonist is still important and revolutionary for the time, so I take this win with a grain of salt. The Metroid series is characterized by science fiction tropes, and similarly to the sci-fi classic Alien, Samus, like Ripley, wasn't necessarily going to be a woman when she was created. Metroid co-creator Yoshio Sakamoto said, When we were almost done with the development of Metroid, one of our staffers casually suggested, why don't we make Samus Aran a female character to surprise the player? Back then, I thought it was a nice idea, but I couldn't foresee what a huge impact this would have on the future of the franchise. Samus is actually referred to as a he in the instruction manual, furthermore adding to the surprise reveal at the end. Science fiction is one of my favorite genres because it can be used as a vehicle to communicate difficult social and political ideas in an entertaining way. To choose to make Samus a woman, regardless of editorial intent, makes a statement about femininity and masculinity, but because it's put forth in the package of a video game, it's more palatable and delightful to experience. Entertainment media is like this and holds a special power in communicating ideas, and at the end of the day, regardless of how sexualized she becomes, and let's hope it's kept to a minimum to preserve what's so special about her, you can't take away what she has done for the gaming landscape. Samus Aran appears in 16 Metroid games and even more when you count cameos. She's been a staple in every Super Smash Bros. and arguably OP in the original, if you ask me. GameSpot's all-time greatest game hero is not going anywhere fast, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Here's to more kick-ass women in video games, both in suits and out of them. Like this video and subscribe to Snarled if you haven't. If you like me, I have a YouTube channel called Beth B. Rad. Link in the description down below. Also down below, leave me a comment with who you want me to draw in the next Rad Art. Maybe I'll do it. And also, we've got merch in the description. Go click that link. Buy things that have snarly lips on them. Get ready for Slate Tricks. I'm ready for Slate Tricks. Yay!